Hi guys, money saving expert Martin Lewis is generally a diplomatic bloke, but even he has his limits when it comes to the effluent Tory ministers have been spewing onto the airways. As we know, private water companies have been pumping raw sewage into English waterways and onto beaches. There have been a number of high profile protests against this, and even senior people in the water companies have apologised over the problem. However, the Tory government seems determined to make the bill payer pick up the tab for the resolution of this issue. So this brings us to this panel where Martin clashed with Tory MP Jake Berry over the government's record on water pollution. Have a listen. It was nice, at least after your questions on sewerage, to finally be able to say accurately that that was a politician definitely talking crap. So, um, and, and you know, you look at the water industry, what did we do with water? We privatised it, but with no competition. Well, when you have privatisation without competition, you have regulatory capture. The regulators clearly aren't working well enough, mm -hmm. and therefore we're in the position that we're in. We seem to have got the worst of both worlds. We do actually have one water company that is still owned by the public and not-for-profit, and that's Welsh Water. Mm -hmm. And in fact, in Ceredigion and Gwynedd, we have some of the worst pollution of our rivers in England and Wales. So, republic, you know... No, whether they're private companies or Sorry, not, are you saying, see, saying the way the water industry works as a whole well, is I'm a saying, good thing, well, you or, say, you, or are you it, trying you, to cherry pick one example? My point is, well, I'm not. What, was, have, the what, what was the benefit of privatisation? What was the benefit of privatisation without competition? We've seen record investment. And do we have in regulatory? Water. Who's in charge? Is it your government's fault or the regulator's fault? Well, What's I, happened? I, it must I, be one of them. But we have So is it the regulator or your government? Your point, I think, if I may, was that you were saying privatisation is a bad thing and has led to this failure of investment. And I'm just saying there is there is a real life comparison we can use, which is well. That's not what I said. I said we had privatisation without competition, which seems to be the worst of both worlds. I'm not sure why we did it. Why did we do one without the other? And You're going to have a privatised system. Surely you have to have competition to make the markets work in a market theory, big, or you have regulation. Is, or you have regulation. Now, Jake Berry is a slimy individual, and I did a little bit of research into the water he was talking about. And you can see here, this is in Wales, and I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out yourself. This is the site he's talking about where the water level is sufficient. But if we go to other beaches and other outlets nearby, it's excellent, 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 excellent. An excellent, and I'll leave a link in the description so you can check out other water. But Jake Berry is trying took one example, the worst example of water in this area in, in Wales, and used this as an argument against um, public ownership of water. The, it seems here the quality of water in Wales is higher than in England, and this is Jake Berry using it as an excuse to say, well, look, I found one place in Wales where the water quality is sufficient and I'm using that as an argument against nationalisation of water. Now of course he didn't mention Scotland because it doesn't have any problems like this either but if you're going to have as Martin said if you're going to have private companies then they have to be highly regulated and what the Tories are doing is allowing private companies to operate without proper regulation. And that's what's happening where these private companies are funneling profits in uh, and the money that they have made over the last number of decades into the pockets of shareholders and not investing it in upgrading the system or cleaning up their act. And now they have their handout asking government to pick up the tab. They have their handout asking the bill payer to help fund the, the work that they should have been doing. And you have Tory MPs defending this. And it's wonderful that you have people like Martin Lewis calling this out and asking, OK, if the system is broken, whose fault is it? Jake, who is responsible for this? Is it government or is it the water companies? Of course, Jake won't answer that because either answer is embarrassing. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.